one of the reasons that it's really important to weigh our animals regularly is it gives us a good indication of how healthy they are. Unfortunately, we had some acorns into our meerkat exhibits, and acorns can make meerkats sick. We had one guy that kind of stopped eating altogether, and by regularly getting weights from him, we were able to tell you know, how sick he was getting, and then when his weight started going back up, it kind of indicated us that maybe we're past the worst part of the sickness, that he was starting to get better. So it was a really good indication to us, just looking at the changes in his weight, as to how healthy he is. Um, if they start gaining too much weight, that means we need to you know, check their diet, and make sure they're getting the proper amount of exercise and not too much food. Um, same as if they start to lose weight, we need to make sure that we're watching to see why they might be losing weight, if they're getting sick, if they're just not getting enough food. There are some other important medical reasons to weigh the animals at the Indianapolis Zoo too. Well, we weigh our animals on, for a medical standpoint to know how much drug to give them, antibiotic. A lot of the antibiotics are based on weight or other drugs. So in order to give a proper dose of medication, it's very important to know how much the animal weighs. But weighing all the different types of animals we have here at the Indianapolis Zoo requires some special tools. Well, we have such a variety of animals uh, first off, so it, it gets challenging just to have all the different types of scales that you need to have to weigh the animals properly. The largest being the elephants, and we've brought in truck scales uh, to, to weigh them. Um, smallest being uh, some of the frog species that we housed here years ago, uh, weighing less than a, a penny. And some animals are definitely easier to weigh than others. The elephants are trained to go up on a scale. The scale is four by four. Um, and it's located within the barn where all the animals pass and they've all adapted to it very, very quickly and very, very easy. However, there is some math that must be done in order to weigh elephant calves. The, the hard part can be sometimes when we have very young calves. Um, they actually are not trained to walk on the scale yet. So what we'll do is when they go, their mom goes on the scale, they will go on the scale with them and then we'll get mom on the scale by herself so that we can subtract their weight. Um, and find out what the baby's weight is. The elephants are some of our most cooperative at being weighed, but we have some crafty guinea baboons here who keep us on our toes. It can be a little crazy. <laughs> you know, you have to be careful and protect the scale because they want to look underneath and look at the cords and pull at them, so you have to keep them occupied. We usually use um, very popular items that we know they're going to go for, whether it be peanuts, and that's a high reward item, you know, mixed nuts if, it, if, the, if it's there in the season, raisins are really popular, grapes. So anything that they're like, oh, if I sit on this, I get this stuff. The training done with the baboons in order to be weighed is similar in some ways to the training our Atlantic bottlenose dolphins undergo in order to be weighed. But the degree of difficulty is a bit more in that the dolphins have to actually come out of the water in order to be weighed. Um, dolphins do a natural behavior which is called beaching and arching or shoaling where they'll push their body up and out of the water. They'll use it to rest or even when they're just playing or to hunt for food as well. So first we tr uh, train them to just beach and arch on the stage or any dry area around the um, exhibit. And then we have to have them hold there for an extended amount of time and the once they they can do that, then we start asking them up onto a scale. But apparently, our Atlantic bottlenose dolphins have been taking lessons from our baboons and can be just as crafty. With Kibo and Jet, you know, they're very excitable and sometimes they get really excited after they've been bridged and let off the scale, they'll just turn around and soak you and you look like a drowned rat. Regular weighing, along with something called body scoring, which is simply measuring how much fat to lean tissue an animal has, is crucial to keeping the animals here at the Indianapolis Zoo healthy. We have to take that part where we can control what they get and to help them live as long as they possibly can.